Amethyst Carter looks like a player. Finishes with a one hand lay in. And leads cut in half. Lee has a bit more skill than Hansborough. We might be able to exploit that as the match goes on. Dreddy hits pause, but I think it's just to get away from the slow animation. So that's no problem. Butler throwing it down with one hand and he gets hot. It's not quite like the old NBA jam days when the player would catch on fire, but we'll take it. Speaking of fire, Isaiah Thomas from the corner, he's open and he knocks it right down. David Lee with a pump fake, knocks it in off the window. We see our opponent has Hansborough going cold. So the match favors us a bit right now, at least with the players being hot and cold. I believe Butler alone, let him guard on Thomas. He's able to run the screen game well enough to get the open shot, and he knocks it in. Lee's open, but he's not an outside shooter. We opt to go ahead and post it up against Hansborough. We'll see if we can't pump fake him out. My opponent stays down and creates the miss. Got a little stubborn. I probably should have passed out there. Carter in transition can't connect. Butler on the handle to Lee. Lee's open. He lays it in. It's 7-all. Vince Carter setting it up to Tyler Hansborough. Butler comes with the help defense when we get out of position. And the internet's bogging down. Don't know if that's my internet or his. Game sort of skips and jumps around. And we go to a shot clock violation. I'm going to pause and go back into party chat real quick. Doing my mic over play by play, but I'm not looking to troll anybody that I'm playing against and make them hear me talk over the game sounds or whatever music they might be listening to at the time. Rudy Gay with a running one hander, front rim and out. He's got Thomas in the corner. We're fortunate that he doesn't connect on the reload. We can't get David Lee out there in time, and we're down by two. Rudy is open. It's a cold zone for him. We just have to take the shot anyways, but we're not able to connect. Now Carter's open. I thought for sure he would shoot the three. I ran out at it. And Carter drives by, gets the land. Despite the foul, we're down three. We'll need to string together some stops and buckets to get this victory against Dreddy. Thought I did a good enough job to set up Butler there, but he gets Hansborough out on him. And we're not able to connect from the corner. Vince Carter almost gets another and one. Instead, my opponent keeps possession of the ball. Carter working on Rudy Gay. We're ready to come with the help defense if necessary. We just hope we don't give up the bucket to Hansborough if we go to help. Gay with a stop and the rebound. We gotta get something going on offense here. Tried to pump fake him out of the way, he doesn't fall for it. Instead, he commits the reach-in foul. Los Angeles Westminster, I guess is what his team name is. And here we go again. Not quite sure why he paused it, but it's all good. Butler hammering it down. We're down by two. We are now past the refresh time for 2k servers. We won't be sniping on this round. 
We're going to keep trying to snipe through the whole night. Every chance we get when the servers refresh. If we don't hit anything to spend our money on, we'll just open packs at the end of the gameplay tonight. A little delayed gratification. Butler gets around. Thomas throws it down. We're down by two again. And we need some stops. Since Carter goes right around Rudy Gay. Really poor effort from the computer defense. Maybe I should have switched over on him. But I expected better than that. My opponent isn't leaving me open for threes. Why should he when I have David Lee? Speaking of Lee, he takes the little cut and lays it in with the offhand. We come to help with Lee and we get Vince Carter to miss the shot. Butler out to Rudy Gay. Gay is a bit overmatched against this Amethyst Vince Carter. We'll look for the little screen game to Butler. Carter comes out to help defense. And we're not able to connect. We get the offensive rebound. Here goes Butler. He'll finish that one. And we're down a bucket. He thought about driving with Carter. We had Lee under the basket. So he pulls up and restarts his possession. Carter with the fancy pass. To Hansboro, we commit the foul, trying to prevent a layup or dunk. We don't mind Hansboro out there on the wing. We don't want him inside getting that dunk. We're fortunate to get the block. Apparently it went off of Hansboro, and we get a chance to tie or take the lead. Butler gets enough animation and room to lay it in on Thomas. And it's 12 all. We keep using David Lee to help out Rudy Gay on Vince Carter while trying to guard our own man in Hansboro. He's got it out to Thomas, setting up the screen roll game. And Thomas gets left wide open as Butler collapses in to give us help defense. We're going to have to try to hit a three of our own. Tie this up. Butler gets left open for a second. But I'm too slow on the trigger to get it out. Get a good look at it. We get the steal. We don't want the one pointer. Although we may just go ahead and take it. And hope for another defensive stop. Because he's just kind of surrendering it to us. Definitely prefer to get the kick out threes there. But... With David Lee on the roster, it's been a little bit of a slow go. And we give up the dunk to Hansboro. Thought my positioning was a bit better than that. Obviously it wasn't, and that's the ball game. And I take off my sweater. Getting a little more comfortable as I stream. Going to have a little drink here for a refreshment as we do these picks. It's Bronze Siakam. Pasquale Siakam. I haven't seen this guy play. If I have, it was just for a few minutes when the Raptors played the Warriors. Apparently, I already have him. I'll be sending him to the auction. And I will take the time to look him up, just in case he's worth something. The board resets. Pink Diamond Isaiah and Diamond Mikel are still the most sought after players on my board. We lost, so we just get one pick. And let's take a look at this guy that I just got in the auction house. Pascal Siakam. 
Looks like the lowest is going to be 1200, so we'll ask for 1150. And we'll look to get some profit out of him. Forgot about Devin Booker. I think he was pretty common. And we'll try to get 500 for this Rip City jersey without taking the time to look it up, which I should probably do. Up now, it's Ruby Clay Thompson. Ruby Clay is going to team up with the gold card. It's D Brown. Not getting as many visitors as I would like to the stream tonight. I'm going to change up the title just for giggles. One moment. Oh, well, sure enough, there's a handful of people that enter the room. So, I'll hold up on that, and we'll see how entertained you folks are as we hop into another blacktop match. If anybody needs a follower, please click f to follow me. I will be following you back as soon as I receive the notification, uh, whether it's tonight or tomorrow afternoon, but do not worry. I follow back everybody that follows me. That's just in case you're looking for it, or if you enjoy what you see. Here we go. We're playing against Team USA fan. He's got Bonzi Wells, Brandon Wright, and Jamal Crawford. What player is known for doing a behind-the-back, off-the-elbow pass in the NBA rookie game? Jason Williams. I thought he was more known for being called White Chocolate. But 2K doesn't change up the questions. We start out in possession. Our uniforms are very close in coloring scheme to our opponents. That might cause a little bit of confusion. I don't mind it because I'm the one playing with the black jerseys when in fact they should probably be white. Shot clock's getting down. Clay from the top of the key. It's good and we're up a bucket. We're going to be using Thorpe here against Brandon Wright on defense. Looks like my opponent just wants to hide in the lane with Wright. We're going to try to take advantage of that. And we're able to, on that possession with the land, we're up to zip. Playing against J-Man T818. He breaks our ankles, but he's not able to convert with the bucket. We got Clay Thompson running out. Pull up three. Released it a bit early, but it goes down, and we're up by four points. Thompson with the steal in transition. Would have enjoyed trying to pop another three with him, but my opponent's aware of it and plays good defense. Thorpe isn't much of an outside shooter, so we're not going to be able to take too much advantage of Wright. But we'll keep taking it at him so he doesn't just park underneath the basket the whole game. On that possession, he does a good job. And it's a four-point lead. He breaks our ankles again. He has that down pretty well. Hits the pause to let us know that he did it with Jamal Crawford. Brown on the handle to Clay. Brown from downtown. It's a cold zone and it's a miss. Crawford turns it over. We were looking for the lob. Thorpe pulled off so we don't get the opportunity to throw it. Thorpe keeps running outside the arc. Don't really know why. But he's able to kick it out to Clay from downtown, and we're up by five. 